the most interesting piece of information you'll get from this video is the fact that nature puts more energy in each of its systems than is required to function. As a matter of fact, nature puts in an excess of energy into every system. The body does the same thing. I was just, I was reading the book last night, you guys. I was reading the book last night and I wanted to share it with the squad. First things first, welcome to the channel. My name is Keith Man of Letters, Knowledge, Information, Entertainment. You know how it goes. Thanks for being here. Thanks for checking out the channel. Subscribe if you enjoyed the content. I'm going to try, try, try to cook your noodle here. Right? I'm going to try to cook your noodle here. Hear me out. Hear me out. Just hear me out. It's all, it's all I ask. Hear me out. The body works just like nature does. It puts out more energy than, than it will ever need for regular day-to-day -day functions. I'm going to use nature as an example of that. The only way that nature, or, or, or one of the main ways that nature expands is because of this law. Life started in the ocean. It spread outside of the ocean. Once it filled it, spread onto land. Land became populated with animals and creatures and stuff. Once land became populated, the skies became populated. Birds, flight. After that, humans come along. Now we're expanding to the moon. Now we're, our capacity is filled. Now we're moving to Mars. Capacity is filled again. Now we're moving to the entire solar system. Neighboring solar systems. Other galaxies. Life has more complexity, it has more growth, it has nothing, it, it, it's nothing, life is expansion, ascension. And it's only possible to do that because each system contains more than enough energy uh, for its day-to-day -day functions so that when used correctly, the excess energy can be used for further expansion. Now, the, the average person now let's talk you, you and I, right? You and I, the average person. What, what, what we don't want is losing that energy. Is is having that when, uh, that energy put off as waste. We have all sorts of latent systems in ourselves. But what, what, what the first thing that we need is our desire to come, to accomplish something. Our will. Once we have that genuine genuine desire, something from the heart set in stone we have all these latent capacities all these organs all these characteristics all these expressions and personalities lying dormant in us that that will be turned on in order to attain that goal part of why we have all the extra energy that's usually wasted in your average person is to feed these processes is to feed these personalities of yours, these characteristics of yours, your will, your desire. You know, most people, most people can't check their email. I'm talking, I'm talking, I'm throwing myself under the bus here. Most people can't check their email, which is a, which is a two second task and take longer than five minutes because they end up responding to three or four messages on Instagram, a couple on uh, YouTube, a couple on Facebook Messenger, a couple on Telegram, a couple on Signal, maybe a shout out to the WhatsApp. You guys get what I'm saying? There's so many pools, so many tugs that we can't go two steps without a distraction. This is all wasted energy. We, we Thank God the universe is nothing but energy. The problem is no individual can become competent in this area of we're talking transmutation here no individual can become competent in transmutation unless you practice the things like this especially the willpower especially the more masculine traits the more uh, focused traits these things come with refinement the feminine has the luxury of just being all powerful and terrible and beautiful it's just everything all in one it just Oh, it's 90% of the energy. But the refined part, the masculine part, takes takes some work. To transmute energies, which is exactly what we're doing, takes willpower. You know what I mean? It's easy to just say, to hear the concept, oh, I just must transmute the energy of the wasted stuff into faculties to become a better person. It's like, hey, how? How are you going? What, what does that look like? The cool thing is that looks like 
whatever you want. This is where the creativity comes in. This is where most importantly, the imagination comes. Your rituals, your sigils, the conversations that you have, the movies you watch, the books you read, the books you don't read, the movies you don't watch, the time you spend or the time you didn't spend. Everything is a decision to transmute energies. I don't know what it looks like for you. Like I like candles. I'm a big candle dude. Like see this, what up? I'm a, I'm into the I'm into the candles. I'm into the music, into the chants, into the writing, into the lucid dreaming. Like it, the, there's a million ways to transmute energy. But what's what's important is that if we want to develop character, we can't throw away our energy in any shape or form. This is, this is what generates character magnetism. You know, that elusive thing that everyone wants regardless of your job or your skill or to, to have our, our ideas genuinely heard, genuinely understood, and possibly even genuine, genuinely accepted as truth. We have to have a certain magnetism of character in order to get people to hear us out. The magnetism of character, the goal is not to impose your will on other people. That's not what magnetism of character does. To have magnetism of character is to work on the self, is to, is to transmute all that latent energy to wake up all the latent qualities of you, the latent personalities, all the only the only thing stopping you from getting to point B from point A or, or wherever is a certain list of traits, personalities, characteristics that you haven't accessed yet. They're all a part of you. You are anything and everything. You have dominating personality traits from genetics, from how you were raised, from how you choose to live your life, the books you read, movies you watch, you're, you're programming yourself every single day. When we bring back focus to the self, the thing that's most real, the thing we can most understand in our lives, and we start to work on that, the way you change becomes magnetic. And, and, and instead of trying to impose our thoughts on other people, other people see us, the glowing magnetic type of person we are, people we is, and they go, how did you do that? How did you, how, how did you become the type of person that when you walk into a room, everyone just listens, everyone churns to you, you're poised. I just learned a great definition for the word poised when I was reading this book. It said, calm, controlled, power or something along those lines it's not a it's not a bo boisterous power a flagrant power an aggressive power a demanding power it's a calm and collected an understood perceived power over the self over um, our sort of animal basics our animal drives and our primal urges and needs we're human i get it you know what I mean? But but our goal isn't to to remain animals. It's to, it's to sort of ascend a little bit. You know what I mean? So <sighs> activating those latent powers, those personalities, those characteristics, it's all on us. That's all on us and, and, and how we decide to control our power how we choose to, to transmute the energy that would normally would be wasted think about nature nature abhors a vacuum now if you if you set off a bomb in the middle of the amazon forest and it clears out a square kilometer 10 years that square kilometer is going to be green again New trees, new animals, new bugs and worms in the soil, turning it up, mushrooms popping up. Like, that's just what planet Earth does. Because when there's space, there's so much energy. There's so much latent energy waiting to be called upon that as soon as a vacuum occurs, it's filled 
Instantly and immediately life moves in and starts doing its thing. That's how much energy there is all around us. The human body is no different than that. Your, your higher self, your soul, whatever you want to call it, is begging you to do whatever you can to activate all those personalities inside of you, all those character traits inside of you, all, all those versions of you that you would love to express and you would love to be met and held with respect and poise even. Why not? All by activating and being conscious of the energy that we're, that the body's putting out at all times. Your body will always put out more energy than you will ever need. And, and it's kind of like, it's kind of like, uh, I don't know. I wish I could put it into words. It's like you have these invisible tendrils that are reaching out into the space around you. And they're, they're setting a new boundary. They're going, ah, you're here, but you could be this. You have all, you have the potential to be out here. And so you sort of will that, ah, you will it. And you go and you grow into that new, you're, you're hitting the final form, DBZ, right, baby? You're hitting that final form. And then you expand to it, you meet it. And then the tendrils extend even further, right? You were there, but now I'm, I'm giving you an etheric, an etheric bubble. Here, here's, here's your new potential. Here's your new potential. It's out here, then you grow into it, and then the tendrils sort of go, and you're just constantly evolving. It's nature, baby. It happens, it happens, it happens in the forests, it happens in your mind, it happens in your body, it happens in your spirit. You know what I'm saying? As below, so above, it happens. It's happening all over the place at all times. You just gotta learn to tap into it. Good luck. Good luck, you guys. Good luck.